right, welcome to another episode of the Low Float Strategies Plays with the High Flying Bull. Before we dive in, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more content like this so that we can win together. Quick disclaimer, guys, the information we provide is not financial advice. You are 100% responsible for the investment decisions you make, and the information we provide is solely for education purposes and nothing more. So today, we're looking at a play that, yes, made over 200% in gains in the course of a trading session. That is unreal, but as always, if you stick around in the X Trades community, you will find that we will um, you know, alert these plays and we'll have education sort of surrounded by it so that people can identify these plays and capitalize on those plays. So how we found it was through our uh, trading scanner. So I use TradingView, but of course anyone, any other scanner would do. And what I'll do is after adjusting for my float um, volume, relative volume, et cetera, I'll toggle the change from open because this is what I wanna see for some sort of intraday movement. I'll make sure that it's above or equal 4%. And I'm looking for plays with volume above 1 million, particularly because the more volume there is, the more likelihood that we have more liquidity. And of course, that gives us less liquidity risk. So as I scroll the, through these plays, and you can toggle for the, the biggest uh, mover intraday, and you'll see HUDI pops up. It is hot and it is heavy on volume. And you'll notice again, there are some telltale signs that this thing is about to explode. First one obviously being that it's in its breakout pattern with volume clearly receding on these pullbacks to support, which suggests the trend is intact. Notice the big move in uh, the big original move from 20 to 70, and then it's consolidation before the next leg up. So the pattern formed, we have receding volume, and we'll look quickly at our criteria. We want a shares float below 100 million. That's good, we got it there. We want relative volume above five times to confirm other traders have eyes on the stock. We'll see that right here. And then of course the news catalyst, which, um, you know, it's, it's a good good news catalyst. Um, I Obviously I never expected it to to have that much of an effect on the price of the stock, but you know what? You just never know in this market and you have to act on good news. So again, that's our four criteria that we go by, right? We're gonna go by our breakout pattern, low flow, because that's where we can see the explosive moves, three times or, or sorry, five times or more relative volume because volume drives price action and a valid news catalyst. So we have all of that. And we've had this big original move and within a new breakout pattern, it was just pretty easy to predict that we had a potential explosive move coming. So you'll notice where I'll enter is going to be right about here. So this is the candle I'm going to enter on. You'll notice how it holds the trend line and it confirms and it closes above the structure here so we'll see a bounce down a consolidation and then that move up so sorry i mean i'm at this candle right here so this candle confirms that we bounced off and then it wicks higher here so this is the so i'll enter on this candle but these two candles here are my source of confirmation for entry my stop loss will be adjusted about two dollars below here uh, so it's about two dollars per share of a distance away, but at first the candle to close below um, this trend line is where I'll cut my losses. This is an interesting stock because we do have price levels here at 67 and about 70. Um, and of course, we got well about 60 here, 66 and 70. But beyond that, because you know there's no price action that we're exposed to at these levels you're kind of just riding the wave and um, as you ride the wave you you have to be you have to learn to scale profits as this continues to keep moving up um as funny as this sounds i i did 
take uh, you know a third of my position off the table here uh, at 60 another half or a quarter here at 66 and then another quarter at 70 before basically the halt up and then my last my runners essentially were were left left to run um, adjusting my stop to previous profit targets and so it just kept running and I, I sold was able to sell at the bell after the the market closed so the way I, I buy and sell of course is go always going to be the same um, for more detailed uh, analysis on how I, I particularly exit my position is very systematic it's very simple but again um, you guys want to be a part of these plays I strongly suggest you subscribe hit that thumbs up button and click the link below to get your 20-day free trial with us all of this is highlighted and detailed for you guys in that community so that you guys can learn how to spot the play capitalize on it and succeed in a systematic way it is a community that is here to win together so thanks for listening guys and we'll see you next time yeah.